Hey guys, I'm really excited about today's video. This is part three of our ongoing series of our 1978 Carver that we're rebuilding. This video is all about the engines. Really excited, it's I'm, uh, kind of an engine nut at heart. So uh, as you can probably see from the videos, these engines are in really bad shape, at least one of them was. Uh, I believe it was the starboard, the starboard engine was in really bad shape. The port engine actually started that you saw here at the beginning. So let's get started. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. Okay guys, we just got the motor back, back to our garage. We're gonna strip it down, get it in the, uh, get in the bath, the electrolysis bath, start cleaning this motor up. Just want to document some of the stuff before I start disconnecting. So uh, I think this is maybe, I don't know, fuel filter. Fuel filter and fuel pump. We're going to go with that. Fuel pump, probably. Then it comes up here to the carburetors. Looks like a fuel pump. We're going to go with that. So uh, it's got two connections. Obviously an in and an out. I want to make sure that's right. We're going to take this bracketing off, three bolts here. We're going to drop the oil pan. Uh, I know this is a water pump. This looks like maybe another water pump. Secondary pump? I don't know. Uh, another mount. Oil filter. This housing that attaches to the V drive, that's going to come off so we can mount it to the uh, engine stand. So we're going to go with this first. Yep, in, out, there we go. Look at that. From the tank in, okay. Tank in, out. So that's the input. Yep, fuel filter. Okay, we're starting to get it. So as you can see, uh, pretty rusted up. The cylinders in there pretty shot we'll see if we can overhaul this engine or if I got to use it to exchange it and do a core charge but I do not have the heads for this motor so the heads were not with it uh, I'm gonna consider the heads lost the previous owner had a mechanic pull the engine obviously disassembled it never got paid I'm guessing he probably kept the heads as insurance so he get paid but uh, we'll see what some new ones cost. I'll probably just get some uh, third party, some new ones, and go from there. So, over here we got some more boat parts. Got the exhaust, exhaust manifolds, got the starter, got the uh, intake manifold. Carburetor is in my vehicle, which you can see it's all rusted up pretty good. So, we're going to get this thing back into my electrolysis. For my previous video on the Ford V10, we're gonna do the exact same thing with this engine and see if we can get this thing cleaned up. So here's the oil pan from the motor and uh, had a spun bearing. And I want you to look at this oil. This oil, pretty chunky. A lot of sludge in the bottom of it. It's almost a mud. This is the problem on why it spins bearings. Because this oil is just mud and that is not normal so we're going to end up dropping the motor on the other side of the boat because if this one's got sludge like this in it that other one's got sludge in it along with who knows what else it's in there. So, just not feeling confident. We get this one going, we're going to have to clean the other one too. 
So we got the engine apart and found out uh, basically bad winterization, crack block, caused it to overheat, caused to have a spin bearing. So ultimately, we ordered a new engine. So here's that video. Hey guys, really excited today. The engine came in for the 98 Carver boat. Got this engine from, from uh, Blueprint Engines in Nebraska. Uh, they don't sell directly. You have to go through one of their distributors. So I found a distributor online, uh, ordered it from the distributor on Friday. They ordered it from the engine maker on Monday. Showed up at my place on Wednesday, uh, FedEx Freight. So that is awesome. And then I found out they're in Nebraska, and of course I'm in Iowa, so didn't have to go that far. But this is exactly what I was looking for. So the old engine that we pulled out, uh, I was going to get it machined. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing it myself. I decided I better take it into a machine shop. And um, immediately when I dropped it off, they're like, hey, it's not even worth it. This thing's junk. There's a crack, six inch crack right here on the side. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. You can see the line. They said this block's junk, it's ruined. You know, it's not gonna work for us. So that made my decision pretty easy where I went ahead and got the rebuilt engine, uh, new rebuilt. So uh, the things I had to look at was the casting number, GM. 3970010 same number GM 3970010 uh, I think the I can't remember the number on I want to say it's like 682 was the heads and these are 882s So again they're just cast iron GM heads uh, no frills here, but uh, I, you know, it's reliability is what it comes down to for me. I wasn't going to do any aftermarket. I want the engines to both match. Um, basically taking everything back to original. Now this one, uh, you may notice this one actually is the counter rotation. So there's uh, right and left rotation engines. So this one is the counter rotation. I can't remember if that's left hand or right hand. But um, uh, really excited uh, that somebody did all, you know, it cost me, I think it was $2,800 and 300 in shipping. It was basically $3,125 uh, delivered to my door. It's got a 12 month warranty. And uh, now I don't have to worry about going through my old engine. And uh, now it's just a block, it's just a, an anchor. So. It had a spun bearing, uh, so it overheated, had a spun bearing. It was missing the heads because some other mechanic got a hold of it before me. Uh, probably figured there was a cracked block, probably kept the heads because he didn't get paid from the old owner. So now I've got all these parts and pieces left over from the old engine. About the only thing I'm going to do is uh, the camshaft. I'm going to convert that over to... A tool to use to remove the bearings for the camshaft. Uh, I saw a video online on how to do that, so I'll probably uh, repurpose that and use that. So I've got to switch over the tins when you buy these. You can get them with or without the tin. So I've got the oil pan, the old aluminum oil pan that I got to put on. We've got uh, the timing chain cover that goes on here. We're going to have to obviously put the intake carburetor on flywheel and then we're going to paint her up blue because I'm going to keep her uh, crusader blue and probably going to have to get new exhaust manifolds crusader manifolds so over here is the old pieces we got the manifolds we got the intake that I'm going to have to probably take over to the machine shop and have them clean them up make sure it's any good still um, flywheel housing the pumps Gonna have to check all that out. Make sure the carburetor works. See if I need to rebuild it. 
One, uh, one real pleasant surprise on this one is the old engine was a two bolt main and the new engine is a four bolt main. So I ordered it. You can either order it as a two or a four and I ordered the two because it was a couple hundred dollars cheaper and I really don't expect my RPMs to get anything over 4,000 RPMs so I went with the two bolt and they sent me a four bolt main so a little surprise there uh, did some research on the difference between the two and the four bolt and quite honestly unless you're doing uh, race engines and you're gonna have high RPMs uh, the two bolt mains are just fine um, four bolt mains were typically used in trucks for more torque and if you wanted to uh, rebuild them. But I guess there's a conversion you can do on the, tor uh, the two bolt mains as well. You can make these a four bolt. I'm not exactly sure how they would do it. I don't know if it was another bolt, but I don't really see where there'd be any room to put another bolt in. But uh, apparently there is, an, there is a way to machine those for another. But um, I'm sure somebody out there can make comments and let me know about that. So... Again, excited. Blueprint engines out of Nebraska. Uh, if this thing runs like it should, I'm going to be very happy. So we got the engines painted up that uh, Crusader blue. To me, it kind of looks like maybe a Ford blue, but I think the Ford blue is a little darker. But uh, never seen a GM engine with a baby blue like that, but that's what the Crusaders do. And of course, the Merc Cruisers are black. But uh, got our new exhaust manifolds on and we're ready to put her in. In goes the engine today. Oh boy. Yeah, bring her over. She's going in there. Okay guys, we just got the engine in, the new engine. The crane just left from the marina. So we back to the two engines. So we're gonna check back here when we get her started. Hopefully at the end of the day, we're gonna have this baby hooked up and ready for its first start. Make sure she runs. Hopefully we can get her on the water this week. So it's been a long haul. I'm going to be ready to finish this project up. Talk to you soon. You can tell that. beautiful sight and sound except we don't got it coming out the other one just the one gotta check that only got water coming out the one hey thanks for staying to the end I know that's a long video but uh, really that's short compared to the amount of time and the work that we put into it we didn't cover everything but stay with us, and we'll be back next week with the four-part series where we finish up the whole paint, and then we get to launch the boat. Talk to you soon.